It is time for high school basketball action here on WOSN. Tonight we are at the Corral, Allen East High School as the Mustangs hosting the Liberty Benton Eagles in non-conference action tonight. Looking forward to a great one as two leaders in their respective conferences do battle here on a Saturday night as they, they got the disco lights going and we are just about ready for basketball action. Good evening, everyone. I'm Patrick Hamler, joined alongside by former ONU men's basketball coach, Ritz Benzman, which means I'm just going to leave all the basketball talk to you tonight and I'm just going to sit here. All right, that that's, that's, that's pre coach, sounds pretty good, Patrick. Yeah. Look at these two teams, the Eagles and the Mustangs. Uh, the records are very similar. Allen East on a four game winning streak. They've taken care of the teams they need to take care of over the last few weeks. Liberty Benton has struggled against the really good teams. They've taken care of everybody else. This should be a, this could be kind of a, let's find out who you are match tonight. Yeah, I think this is gonna be a really good, good game today. Looking forward to the action here on the court as the pregame festivities have wrapped up. They're gonna get all the lights and everything off the court and we are going to be ready for high school basketball action the uh, jv game wrapped up it was a close one and uh, liberty benton came out on top in that one so alan east hoping that the varsity game is a little different as we are all set for basketball action here controlled and it will start with alan east so the Mustangs will start the starters, Ethan Young, Carson Klum, Deacon Jones, Trey Hensley, and Logan Helzer. Ethan Young last weekend set the school record for most three-pointers in a game. Looks like Liberty Benton's coming out on a man-to-man -man defense. And Young is who has it right now. Pretty good crowding the floor on the help side. A nice pull up by Carson Plum, and he draws contact. So we'll have a foul here early on. Is but yet that was Seth Elkert. That'll be his first. So that put Carson Plum at the line, and the Lee's famous recipe free throw is up and good. And that's the first point of the night for Allen East. Plum coming into the contest, 55.6 in that neighborhood. Uh, free throw shooting this season. Second one, no good. It's good looking for him. Indeed he does. Missed the second one, but has got it back and then promptly kicks it away. Off the foot of Ethan Young, a 5'11 junior. It'll be Liberty Benton basketball. Starting lineup for the Eagles tonight, Carson Conaway, Jake Gurton, Seth Elkert, Lincoln Holler, and Zach Elkert. Alan East coming out in the man-to-man -man too, getting in the passing lanes pretty heavily. And one thing you notice, one of the things that you notice in terms of the teams is Liberty Benton has a pretty significant size advantage. Yeah, yeah. A lot of tall guys that are on the Eagles. Yeah, and strength-wise, it looks they look a little bigger as well. That was what we call a little Iverson cut off of the the elbow area and a little misdirection to get the ball to the post down low. Plum was briefly doubled, now he'll yeah. penetrate, take it in off balance off the left hand, little too strong, able to get it back underneath, passes it out to Deacon Jones. Yeah. So Liberty Benton really came out and showed hard on that, there's a, you know, a hard kind of hedge on that ball screen. The roller's gonna be open if, if they do that throughout the entire game. Plum in a little bit of a hook shot, gets the hometown roll, three nothing Allen East. He's sitting down and playing a, right now pretty good man. They lost a man there. Here's Holler with a three ball. That short. Plum with the rebound. Lead pass out to Deacon Jones. He pulls up from downtown off the back of the rim. No good. Now here are the Eagles moving down and dueling turnovers here at this point in time. It's Plum bringing it across. Ethan Young from downtown. That one just a little long. Jones with the rebound. Frenetic pace to start here, Coach. Well, both teams kind of came down in transition, and I don't know if they, they valued the ball very much on both ends. See how they handle this. See how they hard hedge that rollers. If they can turn that ball to the corner quickly, they're going to get the post player. 
Jones long on the three-point attempt, and now running the floor, three on one break, and it pays off. Jake Gerken putting that one in, first points of the night for Liberty Benton. And a turnover on the other side. Here is Carson Conaway up with the left hand and down. Quick shots by both Allen East and Liberty Benton in that last two series of transition. A bit of a slower pace. Now Clum takes it strong and tries to pass it away, and it's going to be out of bounds. They're going to say on Allen East. Take a look at the East Side Insurance replay on that, and Carson I guess they touched his foot when it was going out. Yeah, Carson Clum sees the floor really well. He guards pretty well as well. They're switching on screens right now. Pass Jumping off. Jumping out and just switching, yep. Yep. So a lot of times when people switch on screens, you, you screen your own man because they're, they're, they're switching. There's a cut open. This is Gherkin yeah. taking it strong, and a blocking foul is going to be called against Carson Klum. That's going to be his first and the team's first. Just got there a little bit late and kind of moved just a little bit as he was being hit. It was the right idea. That puts Gherkin at the line. One of the, I just about to say, one of the best foul shooters that you're going to see on the floor tonight. And the first Lee's free throw is missed. Yeah, that happens sometimes, they get jinx. Yeah. Around 70% for the season, hits yeah. the second. 5-3 lead on the Jones Excavating scoreboard. Here's Clum driving kick. He's got a really good first step off the bounce, Carson Clum does. Indeed he does. Jones saves that one, brings it back across the timeline. See how they jump one. Jones might have had that one slapped away. Now a little bit of a mismatch on numbers while Jones gets back. Conaway, three ball, got it. If Liberty Benton continues to hard hedge on that ball screen, Alan East, can, they can get it to the post because he's going to be wide open on the roll. One passes it off. I saw Young directing some traffic. Logan Helzer with the basketball, his first touch. Strong, a little too far back, but he recovers it. Here's Hensley from downtown, that one's short. Zach Elkert with the rebound. It's, it's always fascinating to see the rebounding, you know, for opportunities for offensive rebounding for second chance points. Yeah. Without a doubt, that was a foul on Hensley, that's his first. Little cross screen by the wings. Probably will get a seal from the post after they cross screen with the wings is what they were looking for. Okay. They are Liberty Benton. See what they run out of this box set here. On this side out of bounds. Trying to take it in the paint instead. They'll yep. kick back. That three ball by Lincoln Haller is short. Carson Klum, one of the leading rebounders on the team. You, you wouldn't think that for a 5'9 guy, but. Yeah, he's got some hops. He got up. Comes in averaging just under six rebounds a game. And Jones with the errant pass, and that one's going to go back to the Eagles. Yeah, that was a, on that dribble handoff from Allen East, he should have taken that all the way to the basket. Well, they'll be talking about that here in the timeout. 3-10 remaining in the first quarter. We'll take it as well. You're watching high school basketball action here on WOSN. Welcome back. Tonight's scoreboard is brought to you by R.D. Jones Excavating, serving your excavating needs for over 50 years. Visit R.D. And go Mustangs. 8-3, Liberty Benton with the early lead. Eagles on an 8-0 run here in this first quarter. Just about a little over halfway through it now. Both teams kind of started out with the transition and kind of didn't value the basketball. Now they've kind of settled down a little bit. Adeline East probably could use a little bit more floor spacing on their offense. So the first couple of minutes they were going 
A really fast back and forth. There's a nice strong take by Carson Conaway. Eagles up 10 to three. Plum takes it inside off the glass and in. So Liberty Benton was really fronting the post there. That's why it was a smart move to see Carson because they kind of drove the post guy out and Carson saw that open lane. Makes it pay with two points as he has all five of their points tonight so far and splash down for Jake Gherkin. Yeah, really good side-to-side -side action. We call that changing the floor. They did a good job of changing the floor there. And passing it off, this is Young penetrating, looking inside. Ivan kick and poked away and unable to be saved, I believe, by Zach Elkert. So that'll stay down here with Alan East. Alan East kind of got a, a little bit kind of bunched up there offensively as far as their four spacing offensively. Yeah. So you're seeing almost all five bodies like just around the paint. Yeah, yeah. You're not really seeing that, that separation that you're talking about there. Correct, Rich. yep. You see a little bit of it there and they're gonna get over and back. Brady Brooks who just checked into the contest. Carson shouldn't have probably made that pass, but again, the wing he needed to get into his guy a little bit and create separation and kind of just made a, a straight cut to the ball. Yeah. Brody Thomas checks in for the Eagles as we're under two minutes remaining in this first quarter. Jackson Hostetler also in for Liberty Benton. And Thomas lets one go from downtown and rebound picked up by Young. Pretty good defensive block out by Alan East that time. Hensley with the top of the key, gives it off to Helzer. Now Helzer leaning inside, using that size, yeah. gets it back it's and be an offensive. Yeah, an offensive foul. Just kind of leaned his shoulder in a little bit. I mean, he's playing hard. It was a good, you know, rebound, but he just kind of, on that last move, he just kind of leaned in just a little bit into the guy. Yeah, the more you, uh, you nudge your shoulder into someone, the harder it is to yeah. get those calls going your way. He likes that up and under move too. It might get some guys off their feet. Yep. Here's another three pointer on the way. That one high off the rim. Helzer with the rebound. Gherkin, one of the better three point shooters on this Liberty Benton team. Here's some nice moves by Brooks. Yeah. Gives it up to Clum. Now Clum takes it strong, and that pass knocked away. Here's Conaway on the run. Nice pass. Gets it around, and Gherkin with the finish. Shot selection right now for Liberty Benton is, is, is really good. Here's Young with a long three ball. That one just grazes the rim. Now here's Brooks on the attack. Scoop shot right hand, doesn't go. Corralled by the Eagles. Final 30 seconds of this first quarter. Go ahead, Coach. Did a little run and jump right there on the, on the side of the floor. Try to get them out of the, some of the stuff. They're gonna play for a last second shot here. That's indeed the case. Gherkin's going to hold it. It's a 1-4. Looks like they might spread the floor here. Yep, baseline. So they're going to spread the floor. It's going to be an isolation play right here for number 13. Let's see it. Yep. So we'll have a foul underneath. Deacon Jones is assessed the foul. So that's going to be his first. Fourth on the team. So... Unlikely we'll see free throws here off fouling, but you never know. 5.9 into Elkert. Now Conaway, three balls. Got it. Throws this one up at the buzzer. And that will do it for quarter number one. And it is Liberty Benton on an 18-2 run. That's how the first quarter ends. It's 18 to 5. Eagles on top. This is high school basketball action for WOSN. Welcome back. Today's instant replay sponsor is Eastside Insurance, dedicated to providing the best insurance protection at the most reasonable price to as many people as possible. 
And our free throws tonight are sponsored by Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken in Lima, Wapak, Delphus, and St. Mary's. Call Lee's for all your catering needs. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken, home style, happens here. Second quarter ready to get started. Liberty Benton with an 18-5 to lead. And we've been talking about the offense, Rich Benjamin, and the, the Liberty Benton offense is just, just looks better. Allen East really struggling to find good shots right now. Yeah, and, and Liberty Benton's floor spacing is really good. They're doing having a lot of side-to-side -side basketball, inside-out basketball, and they're getting really decent looks out of their offense. Conversely, Allen East has kind of got to, they're running a motion, but they got to kind of work on their spacing a little bit. Their, their spacing's not, not great right now. Liberty Benton turns it over. First one of the second quarter. Well, Allen East will have the basketball. So this is running out of a box set right there, down screen for the wings. Brooks gives it up. Little, well, that's a, now the, a little bit of a flex cut look and a lot of screens around the elbow. That was, that was the best that they've moved the basketball this half. Did shoot a basket. It will uh, not count, however, as Seth Elkert picks up his second foul, so he will head to the bench. Reed Irwin now heads in for Liberty Benton. Nice cut inside, but Jones is promptly blocked. And that was head to the line. Well, we we just call a wheel cut where you had one coming off the screen and, and the next one following, and they got the number two guy open for the shot. So a couple of Lee's famous recipe free throws coming up. That will put Deacon Jones to the line, a 70 around 70 percent free throw shooter. First one is no good. Jake Gherkin checking back into the contest for Liberty Benton. And looks like when Liberty Benton's running any sets, they're, they're looking for Gherkin a lot. Yeah. Second one is good. 18 to six, Liberty Benton on the Jones Excavating scoreboard. It's cut, this is Irwin Ball, knocked away into the hands of guess who, Carson Plum. Good Plum taking hands, it all yeah. the way up and in. Kind of stepped in the passing lane. That was kind of a diagonal kind of screen on the far end, and Carson just read it and came right through the passing lane. Nice pass inside. Zach Elkert, the recipient. Nice answer by the Eagles. Starting their motion out of a box set with a down screen, then cross screens around the elbow area. Ethan Young's three ball is short. Open underneath is Jake Gherkin, and that's who they get it to, and puts it in. Yeah, just kind of lost Gherkin on the transition defense. I think Coach Young is running them out of that box set to, to just get them moving a little bit in their floor spacing. Look at some of the uh, guys for Allen East, and there seems to be a little confusion down there as far as who, who's supposed to be where and what's expected, that kind of thing. It doesn't seem as, as crisp as we've seen in, uh, well, really this week, the games that Allen East has had. Right. Well, they're kind of starting their motion out of that box set when they have a chance, when it's, you know, we have stoppage of play, and then they're setting a lot of screens around the elbow area, and they look for curl cuts. It, that, it's the best it's look at this half. 22 to 8 lead for Liberty Benton. Here's cut inside of Conaway, and then he has the ball slapped away from him. And that's going to be either against Young or Clum. They're going to get Clum on it. And that, that is Carson Clum's second. That's where the screener was open. He screened and he slip screened that to the basket, and he was he was pretty wide open. So Grant Slusser will check in for Allen East. While Clum heads to the bench. Free ball on the way by Zach Elkert. No good. Brooks with a rebound. And now how will this Allen East offense function without Carson Clum on the court? Hensley works it around to Jones. We're going to reset back here, off yeah. traffic. Yeah, exactly. Yep. 
Jones takes it in, has it blocked. Lincoln Huller getting in there and swatting that one away. Kind of a little 1-4 flat again for a little isolation for Jones. Number 21, Hunter Nichols. So Hunter Nichols coming into the contest. And he will replace Grant Slusser. Looking to get that one in, they do, to Hensley. Oh, they're making those passes from about, you know, 20 feet out sometimes. That's what's making it difficult. They got to narrow that passing lane on their offense. Here's Conaway working inside and floats that one up and in. You know, the discomfort that Liberty Benton, or I'm sorry, Alan East has had on offense, and that just has not existed over on the Liberty Benton side. No, they're, they're getting pretty much what they want out of their offense and then also with separators individually. Those are underneath with a seam and a foul. Yeah, that was a, a little horn set up at the elbow. And, and obviously Liberty Benton kind of gambled to get that steal and left a wide open basket. So that's on Conaway, who has quietly had half of Liberty Benton's points. That leaves recipe chicken free throws no good. So he will have to head to the bench with two fouls, 12 points. Conaway, one of the leading scorers, second leading scorer for this Liberty Benton team. He averages 12 and a half, so he's almost got that right now here in the first half. Second leading famous recipe chicken free throw is good. Now we're at the four minute mark in the first half. We, we always like to try to say, try to win that last four minutes of the first half and try to win the first four minutes of the second half. A worthy goal for sure for Allen East to yeah. see if they can turn it around offensively. Nice, strong take inside by Jake Gherkin. And he will head to the line. Logan Helzer assess the foul, his second. So they're penetrating, they're getting to the line. They're also causing Alanis to have a lot of their guys in foul trouble here early, too. Yeah, and the dribble penetration is coming after a couple passes side to side or inside out, and that makes it the lane a little bit more open. First. Lee's famous recipe chicken free throw is good. Second one is good. 26 to 9 on the Jones excavating scoreboard. So they're good getting in there, starting their offense with the down screen, and the wings will pop out. And hit the elbow that time. Out to Ethan Young. So they're trying to isolate a post touch here. And that's Helzer. Helzer a little fade away, can't get it to go. Thomas passes it off to Zach Elkert. Elkert passes it, able to be saved by Jake Gherkin, and we're going to have a timeout here. 3.46 remaining in the second quarter. It's a 26-9 Liberty Benton lead. You're watching high school basketball action on WOSN. Welcome back, 26 to nine, Liberty Benton on top of Allen East on the Jones excavating scoreboard. Allen East gonna try and dig out of a little bit of hole they've found themselves in here in the last 346 of the second quarter. Yeah, Coach Whiteman called that timeout for Liberty Benton. I, I, I don't think he liked how his team looked but, uh, offensively. Let's see if they can get their ducks in a row, so to speak. Anyway. Little flare screen by Gherkin. And now Gherkin puts that one up a little high. Yep. Off balance now here is Holler cutting in, looking for someone to feed out. He does, Hostetler from downtown, high off the rim, no good. So out of that timeout, Coach Weidman probably, he ran, he wanted to run a little flare for, for Gherkin there, and he got a pretty good look out of it. And we're gonna have a foul away from the basket. Uh, is it a foul? That might be what the officials are talking. Logan Helzer is favoring, to say the least, that left ankle. So he is going to head out of the game. 
He'll be replaced by Brady Brooks. And I guess maybe he just rolled his ankle. And it just twisted it there. I always kind of question whether you want to take that shoe off right away. Right, yeah. The trainers, obviously, athletic trainers looking at it. So, he's yeah, he's having him keep it on. Yeah, yeah. he loosened it, so we'll see. Yeah. Yeah. It's not, he's, a, he's a strong kid down there on the block. And almost picked Carson's pocket. That went off the leg of Brooks, but Clum recovers it. Ooh. And a nice feed yeah, inside. Couldn't finish Jones. Hensley with a second chance opportunity. And nothing there. And that's going to be Liberty Benton basketball. We'll see if they're going to call Hensley on the foul. They will. Legs got tangled up. A couple, a couple really good backdoor cuts there from Alan East. They just weren't able to finish. So that was a nice penetration by Jones. Had a line to the ba uh, line, yeah, line to the rock basket. Couldn't put it in. Under three minutes, 26 to nine. Liberty Benton in command of this one here at the Corral at Alan East High School. Liberty Benton now running a little motion of their own. Turn around by Hostetler, no good. Plum fires the pass to Young. Now here's Brooks. And Brooks, Jones gets it back. Hot potato, and that's going to stay over here with Allen East. Seemed like maybe one more pass than they needed to make in that play. Yeah, it's it's they're kind of one pass and now I'm gonna do it kind of kind of idea. And that's if they would change the floor and get more side-to-side -side basketball, they get a little bit more open looks. Poked away from Young. And Plum and hustle pokes by it Carson to Brooks. Plum. Nice play. Here's Brooks. Drive up, hits a three. That was a much needed basket, Patrick. Absolutely. Now and a block by Young, and he's going to be called on the foul. A little my, my impatience there with Liberty Benton. I don't think Coach Whitehead would want them to come down the floor and take such a quick shot, but it turned out it turned out okay. He got to the free throw line. So that'll put Lincoln Holler at the foul line. The Lee's free throw is good. Holler. Three for three, and free throws this season. Four for four. As we come under two minutes, Plum pulls up, round 13 fit, no good. And the other way, and Brooks gets his hands in there to disrupt that. It will stay, however, with Liberty Benton. Yeah, it was a pretty good read by Brooks. It could have easily gone the other direction. It's coming a set play. Looks like a little dribble weave action. He's calling it Miami. <laughs> Finds the open man, it's Brody Thomas. And he tickles the twine with a triple. Plum pushing the issue, kicks it out, um, passes, and out of bounds. Carson's, I think, arguing a case maybe of a little body foul on the drive. It, if when he's penetrating baseline, I'll need, we need to send someone to the corner so he has a better passing angle. So that he, he, he drove baseline and his teammates stayed on the wing and that created a very tough passing angle. So Brooks called on the foul there, that's his first. And that is team's fifth. So one of the changes in high school basketball this year is on the fifth foul each quarter, Team will shoot two, and that resets at the end of each quarter. One and one, the days of the one and one are gone. Yeah, I'm not so sure I'm liking that. <laughs> Second one is good. I've asked a number of coaches 
and right now it's about half and half. Yeah. Half are cool, half or not, not thrilled with it. Right. Maybe the older guard probably doesn't like it as well. Uh, it's possible. Ooh, it's inside, Hensley open there for a minute, hesitates, couldn't get it to go. Rebound corralled by Thomas, and Hensley wanting to tie up and not getting it. That's going to be his third foul. I think, I think that back, it's on Deacon Jones. That's going to be his second. As the fouls piling up here for the Allen East starting lineup. Yeah. And Allen East obviously much smaller without Pelzer on the floor. It's not much of an inside presence. So they're probably going to have to be running a five out. Yep. First Lee's famous recipe free throw is good. There is Brody Thomas puts it in. He was 0 for 2 on free throws heading into the game tonight for the season, and he's hit those two. 35 to 12. Eagles in command here at Allen East. Oh. And an offensive foul away from the basketball. Oh, on the moving screen, so that time Allen East came down and just started a motion offense, setting a lot of screens, a little bit high elbow area, and then gives them the opportunity to curl that, but he just leaned into that screen a little bit too much. All the starters for Allen East have at least a foul. Most of them with two. And that's going to be a defensive foul. I think it's going to be Young. But I think I saw Young kind of a shove. Yeah, and fighting through, Liberty trying Benton to fight guy. through the screen. Yeah, yeah. So his third. At the line, once again, is Lincoln Holler. And Holler, nope, take that back, that's Jake Kirkin. Keegan Jones checking in for Allen East, the 5'9 freshman. And the second one is up and good. Running out of a set here. The last seven points for Liberty Benton have all been at the foul line, and here's Klum yeah. taking it up strong, and he will head to the line. So that was an isolation play for Carson Klum, obviously. So yelled out 40. It looked like they just spread the floor. They had two high wings, and then guys in the corner just opened up the entire floor for Carson. So Klum at the line. Lee's famous recipe chicken free throw is good. This is the first points in a while here for the Mustangs. Second one, no good. Final 13 seconds of the first half. Haller passing it off, getting it to Gherkin. Two seconds, and Klum gets it and puts it up, and no good. All Liberty Benton here in the first half. They take a 37-13 lead into halftime. We'll be back for the third quarter. Here when we come back, you're watching high school basketball action on WOSN. Welcome back. Your scoreboard tonight brought to you by R.D. Jones Excavating, serving your excavating needs for over 50 years. Visit R.D. Jones Excavating online to set up your next excavation project for your home or business. Good luck to all area athletes. Go Mustangs. And the instant replay sponsor tonight is Eastside Insurance, dedicated to providing the best insurance protection at the most reasonable price to as many people as possible. Coming up on the end of halftime, heading into the third quarter, 37 to 13. Liberty Benton on top of Allen East. Patrick Hamler, Rich Benzman here with you. And it has been really just Liberty Benton doing a lot of things. They have, Allen East has not been able to look. Liberty Benton's probably playing some pretty really good defense, pushing them out of what they want to try to do and, 
and then conversing on the other side of four, it's been all Liberty Benton as far as what they wanted to run and get out of their offense. They've gotten some really decent looks at the basket. So we're underway here in the third quarter. Allen East came into the game with a four game winning streak and that is in danger of being stopped as that ball goes out of bounds. Liberty Benton basketball. Yeah, they, they might want to adjust when when they screen the basketball. Liberty Benton's hard hedging that so and and staying with it so long that with the, the screener, if he rolls to the basket, he's wide open. Let's see what adjustments they can make here. And that one strong take by Conaway. And Carson Conaway is having a nice game. He's got 14 points. Yeah, it looked like they kind of misdirection play. Gherkin was going to come up and screen the basketball, and Conaway just refused the screen and went right to the basket. Clum drive and kick. Deacon Jones shot no good. Grant Slusser had the attempt as he will replace Logan Helzer, who's getting ice for his ankle on the bench. And it looks like he will be done tonight as Zach Elkert puts that one up and in. All Eagles tonight, 41-13. Eerily close to the Texans-Brown score from yeah. earlier this weekend. Sorry, folks. Just reporting the facts. Nice turnaround jumper by Young. Doesn't go, unfortunately. Being so small, they just, they got to really start setting a lot of screens and using them and have run a five out offense. Trying to force just a little too much. Able to knock that one away and that will stay with Liberty Benton. <laughs> Jones is making an argument, but. Not going anywhere. Yeah. Never seen an official talk to a player and go, oh yeah, you're right. <laughs> How did I not see they that? They used to diffuse coaches by saying that. A lot of times they'd say, yeah, I missed that one, Rich. Well, what do you say? <laughs> right. Yeah. That's... You going to reverse it? No. no. Yeah. All right. I don't know what we're doing here. Getting on them pretty hard, and they just come up to you and say, hey, I missed that one. So kind of diffu diffuses you real quick. Yeah. Just quit missing them. Because <laughs> what can you say? Yeah. And just <laughs> keep at it. Foul on the floor here. And the box set here. Looks like they had a double cross screen for the top guy in the elbow. Conaway's three-pointer is no good. That was the, previously that was the third foul on Carson Klum. Now if you're out on the East, you, you know, obviously you're in a hole and you, you can't get it all back at once. But now it's time to start to work on some things to try and get better. I'll stay down here with Allen East. And yeah, you know, you're in a hole, it's 41-13, probably not coming back. I know you don't like the competitor, he doesn't like to say that, but right. you know, what what do you look for if you're head coach Gabe Young? What what do you want to see here in the in these last minutes of the game? Just executing offensively a little bit together as a team. Uh last time in the series before that, that was a nice little curl cut off the elbow. And and I, it's just got movement, and I think that's what he's that's what they gotta kinda concentrate on. And they they look pretty decent there as well, Alan East, as far as just the ball movement and able to get a little bit of a drive and a foul because they move the ball side to side. That's a second foul on Zach Elkert. And that one poked away by Conaway. Conaway avoiding Hensley's hands and putting it in for two. And a timeout here on the court. Liberty Benton fired up 43 to 13 Eagles on top here watching high school basketball action on WOSN. Plum controlling basketball. A little bit better side to side movement there. And consequently they got a decent look at the top of the key. Young shot is short. Conaway gets that one to fall. Carson Conaway has had a heck of a game tonight. 18 points. And he has powered them to a 45-13 lead. And Plum's shot is blocked. Hard to go up against a guy who's 6'4 in the paint. Yeah. Well, in, in my Patrick, in my 31 years as a head coach, 
I've been on both ends of these. Sometimes it really feels good when everything is going right. And, but I've been on that other end of this, and, and you just got to kind of fight through it and continue to work and try to run your stuff a little bit better. So I know you don't you don't like to hear and talk much about moral victories, but See, I like that action with the curl cut yep. off of the elbow. It Brooks with a pull up and fouled. So Elkert is assessed his third. You know, we had, when I was at Cincinnati Reading, we had a tremendous run from 2000 to 2000 and maybe seven when we won a state championship in there. But then in 2007 and eight, we weren't very good and, and we were getting paid back by some of yeah. the schools that, that, we, that we gave it to. And when you're at a small school, sometimes that happens. Second Lee's Fans recipe free throw is good. First points of the third quarter for the Mustangs. 45-15, Liberty Benton on top. And that's the thing too, when you're a school and you've had success for an extended period of time and then you don't have that for whatever reason, there's a nice steal. Uh, no one really feels sorry for you when no. you're on the other end of that. No. Nice strong take by Klum, couldn't finish. That's been a lot of it for Allen East tonight. They've had some of those looks. Coach, I think you mentioned that earlier. There's a nice hustle play by Klum. Yeah. They've had some five foot kind of around the basket shots and just, they're just not falling. Yeah. So there's no offensive game plan that has ever been conceived that can replace hitting the basket. That's true. And a coaching friend of mine once said, good shooting makes up for a multitude of sins. <laughs> That's for sure. It's not the way we drew it up. Yeah, well, it went in. Well, there you go. Thomas giving it back up to Holler. A reset here with a, a, an entry. Little Iverson cut right there off of the two elbows with a little back screen and then a down screen for Gherkin. And there is the three ball attempted by Gherkin, no good. And into the hands of Sluster, quickly over to Brooks. Brooks running the floor. That one off the side of the backboard, no good. And trying to get it away from Seth Elkert, no doing. Now here's Liberty Benton. Moving it around. Uh, Gherkin had the open three, decides to pass it off. A uh, little flare action off of the elbow. Turn around, jump shot, and no, called for traveling. So that Coach Whiteman calls that Florida. And they look like they're good, trying to run a motion, but they're getting a lot of flare cuts off of the elbow. So turnover for the Eagles gives it back to Allen East. 319 remaining on the Jones excavating scoreboard. That was a little clear out for Carson, just a little short, left a little short. 21 footer is short, as you said. Lead pass around the rim and in for Seth Elkert. <laughs> 47 to 15. Now here is Jones penetrating and then he is fouled. They're gonna get Brody Thomas. I believe it's his first. It is. Third on the team. That puts Jones at the foul line for a couple of Lee's famous recipe chicken free throws. First one off the mark. Looks like Jones is kind of shaking up a little bit on that on that foul. I think it might be favoring that right ankle a little yep. bit, perhaps. Secondly, his recipe free throw is good. Well, no. no, maybe not. Picking up early. Thomas, free throw, or sorry, three pointer, no good. Looking underneath for Conaway. He puts two more in. 20 points tonight for Conaway. Spin move by Jones and falls hard to the court. And that's Thomas again, that's his second. So that'll put Jones back at the charity stripe. Yeah, he's, they've come down twice now and just kind of wanted to dribble penetrate to the, to the rim each time. So that'll put the Eagles over the limit. First Lee's famous recipe chicken free throw is good.
All the points for Allen East here in the third quarter via that charity stripe. Second, please, Racing Principal Chicken free throw is good. So Allen East is picking up a little bit now, full court, man to man. Might try to get him going up the sidelines and then run and jump with it. Eight. See, that's what that's what Carson's looking to do. Run it out. Gherkin just did a good job of not letting that happen. Nice steal there by Carson Klum, and he has done that very well all season. Brady Brooks three pointer no good. Corrals that one, puts that one up and in, no good. Saved. There is Hunter Williams brings that in for the Mustangs. And Klum looking for somebody, finds Ethan Young. That one off the mark. It's been a long time since Lallan East has had a field goal in this one, a Brady Brooks three-pointer with about two and a half minutes left to go in the second quarter was the last time that there was a field goal for Allen East. That's pretty much a full quarter at this point yeah. since they've had that. It was that little wheel action again. The second guy I thought might have been open. Now here's Brooks. Working inside, loss of footing, gives the ball up. Now here's Hensley. Back in the hands of Klum. Klum drives and kicks, gets it out to Brooks. And Brady puts it up and in. You know, I'd like to see Alan East, when you got a, when you got a baseline dribbler like Carson Klum that just did that, you got to flare someone off to the corner of the floor so he has a passing angle. Brooks, nice steal, throws it up and is fouled. So Brooks will get to shoot two more as he's been the offense really for Allen East over the last quarter. That's the third foul on Conaway. Brooks shooting two. First lease free throw is good. A little bit of a 5-0 run here for the Mustangs. Could be a 6-0 run. And it is. See, they want to try to get this ball handler driven up the sidelines, and then they'll run and jump it with the other guard. But they're doing a good job of keeping the ball in the middle. Klum pokes that one away. and They kind of did the reverse of that, yeah. what you said. Well, you always want to say when that happens, keep the ball in the middle third of the floor. Because yeah. they want you to start to go kind of wildly up one of the sides, and then they're going to run and jump you with the other guard. 30-second timeout, so we'll keep it right here. The WOSN Scores app is new and improved. You can download the brand-new app from your app store so you don't miss any of your favorite team scores. The new WOSN app replaces the old one. So if you had that WOSN app for a couple of years and you're wondering, hey, why aren't you guys updating it, you bunch of slackers? Well, we're a new app now, so you want to delete that one. Download the new one, and a whole new world of scores will open up to you. Uh, I promise. So download that. Android, Apple, doesn't matter. 49-22, Liberty Benton on top of Allen East. The Eagles go from here, and they are on the road one more time. Next Friday, they take on Macomb. They're undefeated. Pandora Gilboa undefeated, period. 11-0, uh, they're having a terrific start to their season. And then the Eagles taking on some NWC opponents, Bluffton and Columbus Grove. Pandora Gilboa, they've had a few years back, they had a nice little run, and they actually went to the state uh, final four. They did. Rockets fans probably looking forward to something like that possibly happening again. That take by Elkert is short. Final minute of the third quarter. Well, that, that was a Carson Klum got rid of that and went to the block and received a staggered screen for, and they did a great job. The Liberty Benton was trailing that staggered screen, so Carson did a good job of getting to the basket off the bounce. Klum puts that in as he hits double digits tonight, 49-24. Pull him out, gonna run something, try to get the last shot off here. It's an 8-0 run here for Allen East. 
See if Gherkin gets the ball back. So Carson's face guard Gherkin so he doesn't have a chance to get the ball back. Here's Hofstetler, loses it. Final seconds, they will get a shot off. No good. Three quarters in the books here from the Corral. It is Liberty Benton with a commanding 49-24 lead over Allen East. We head to the fourth. You're watching high school basketball action here on WOSN. Welcome back. Tonight's free throw sponsor is Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken in Lima, Wampak, Delphus, and St. Mary's. Call Lee's for all your catering needs. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken, home style happens here. And tonight's instant replay is sponsored by Eastside Insurance, dedicated to providing the best insurance protection at the most reasonable price to as many people as possible. Final eight minutes, ready to get started here from Allen East High School and the home team down 25 to Liberty Benton. Patrick Hamler, Rich Benzman here with you. Allen East uh, ending the third quarter on an 8-0 run. It's been really one of the few uh, positive spots for them offensively here tonight. Yeah, they had uh, they had opportunity to get to the free throw line you know, quite a bit in that run. Liberty Benton will start the fourth quarter with the basketball. Most of the original starters for both teams still in. A few adjustments on that end for Allen East as Logan Helzer went out injured earlier and this is Klum with a steal, scoop and a score. It was a really good anticipation of that pass to, to, for the reversal. Carson stepped right in and took, took it away. There's that run and jump that I was talking about. Yep. 10-0 run for the Mustangs and a turnover. John Cook is in the house. He's an assistant coach at Bluffton University. Yes, he is indeed. So with one of his, in the house, Cookie. One of his little twin girls he's got. One with the basketball. Takes that one up and strong. Really good body control there. So back into this full court man. Liberty Benton's doing a good job of keeping the ball in the middle third of the floor. 12-0 run. And now Conaway's shot doesn't go. Rebound, Clum has it. Into Deacon Jones' hands. He puts it up and in and he's fouled. So maybe hang around for a bit. Still a 21-point lead for Liberty Benton, but you never know. Jones the line to shoot two. This is where time is on the, the side of Liberty Benton. I used to always say I've never lost any basketball games in my career. I just ran out of time a few times. That's right. <laughs> That's right. You know, eight more minutes and... We'd have had you. Yeah, right. <laughs> Both free throws no good, but Clum right there to clean it back up. 14-0 run for the Mustangs. And you've seen Allen East really step up the defensive pressure. Liberty Benton breaking the streak. And that was more of a zone press where Liberty Benton did a great job of cutting a guy right through the middle of it. Yep. Timeout on the floor. We'll take it as well. 6.31 remaining. Liberty Benton up 21. You're watching high school basketball action on WOSN. Welcome back to tonight's scoreboard. Brought to you by R.D. Jones Excavating. Serving your excavating needs for over 50 years. Visit R.D. Jones Excavating online to set up your next excavation project for your home or business. Good luck to all area athletes. Go Mustangs. Liberty Benton with a 51 to 30 lead, but Allen East has done quite a bit to chip away into that lead here over the last couple minutes. It was really about two minutes left in the third quarter uh, before they were able to score their first, uh, their first field goal, rather. And uh, they've been on quite the run ever since. No, oh, they've been just, I like that they've been playing hard. You know, yeah. they, they had, you know, they could have dropped, you know, their demeanor down a little bit, but they've 
constantly just been playing pretty hard. Currently 14 and two. Here's a long three ball off the mark. That will go back to Liberty Benton. Picking up full court again. See if this is a, looks like it's a man press. Has not been Ethan Young's game. Came into the game averaging about 14 points. And last uh, Friday night, you witnessed him here on WOSN break the Allen East record for most three-pointers in a game. And he has zero points right now. So he is still looking to try and get into this one. There's that little flare screen again on the elbow. They're, see, they side to side both ends. That's He calls this Florida, I think. There it is Kick again, yeah. Yep. Good ball movement there. Now Conaway taking it in strong and count it and the foul. So when you run that, everything's around the free throw line area. And when you flare those, that's exact. There's an, there's an open post, so the, driving is, you, it's very susceptible. You can drive the post. So that'll put Conaway at the line. Lee's free throw no good. Plum picks up his fourth foul as he takes it all the way. And he has gotten that shot to fall here in the last few minutes. Yes, he has. See, they want to run and jump this, but they, they're not getting the opportunity. But they have it now. Good job. Yeah, go for it. They get Brooks, the recipient, gets the steal and an offensive foul on Brooks. Yeah, it was a good job by Brooks coming up to take away that. But. See, have to see if they do it again. So Liberty Benton's got to make sure that they don't go, as I should say, east and west, and they got to get it going north and south. They've had a cutter come right through the middle, but right now, yeah. here he comes for that run and jump. Yep. Gets through it, kicks it out, around. It's a good ball movement there by Liberty Benton. Yep. Pressure here as Conaway takes it up strong with the left hand. 24 points tonight. A great night for Carson Conaway. So, yeah. Coach Whiteman's calling squeeze the middle. He wants everybody to kind of play a pack line defense, crowd the floor because Alanis has been getting some drives to the basket. Facing out there a little bit. This is Jones taking it up strong, puts that one up and in, and a foul defensively. That's going to be on Thomas, be his third. Yeah, speaking on the, what Liberty Benton did with that Florida by running all those flare screens around the elbow, we used to always call that high and wide. Get high, get wide, get open, or get out. Mm, okay. First at least free throw is good. Second least free throw is good. Chip it away. Yeah. Trying to. They're really doing a good job after they get the trap of reading up and when I mean, Liberty Benton, the diagonal is going to be wide open when they do that. Oh, that one spins out, but that will send Ethan Young to the line for two. Well, there's the other twin. <laughs> so Young at the foul line looking for his first points tonight and gets it. Kind of chipped away at that, at the lead Alan East has by just getting to the free throw line. Yeah, second one doesn't work. Klum recovers, puts it up and in for three. Alan East has also ramped up the defensive pressure. Here's Conaway open on the break and he can't finish. Young with the rebound, long course pass, and Seth Elkert right there using the long arms to snatch that one out of the sky. Kicked out, this is Gherkin, corner three, no. Put back in by Lincoln Holler. Yeah, nobody there for the block out. This is kind of an easy stick back. Klum pulls up for another three, that one's 
Hard off the front rim. Picks it back up and puts it in. Timeout here on the floor with 336. We'll take it as well. You're watching high school basketball action on WOSN. Back to action here, fourth quarter, 57 to 40. Liberty Benton with the lead over Allen East. And Mustangs down by as many as 32. They've chipped this lead back down to 17. And it's, uh, you know, something, uh, Rich, that you said here a little earlier, that you never lost a game, you just ran out of time. It could be something that happens to Allen East tonight. That's right. So you always got to send someone long when they're kind of denying the ball that heavy. And, and Liberty Benton did a good job of doing that. I wonder if Coach Young, Maybe would wish maybe to come out in this press a little earlier, especially when they lost their big man. And, um, you know, but again, he knows, you know, how much depth do you have to be able to do that the entire game. But they're so small, I think it's really helped them kind of get them going a little bit. I think you're right. They, they ramped up the defensive pressure in the third quarter. And it really has paid in dividends. It's allowed them to come back, and you see that. We've got a guy like Carson Klum, too. Such quick hands, always in the passing lanes, yeah. able to really you know, take advantage of that and cause turnovers. So he came off of a staggered screen there. That play was designed for him the whole way. Looking for contact, or looking for a foul, rather. He got contact, yeah. looking for a foul, didn't get it. Comes that run and jump. And yep. Floor spacing is really important for Liberty Benton. Got to just read up on that and just leave that long diagonal pass open. Working it around, now Holler controls it. We're under three minutes. And a turnover. See if they run. Now in this situation, sometimes you gotta have something what I like to call a lot of quick hitters, where you it's a design action for one of the players so you can get a, a quick shot off. See there, someone now went drifted to the corner, and that was, that was a good drive and a kick, and that was, Carson knew what he was doing with that the yep. entire time. And that's what I'm talking about when someone's driving baseline. If you have a player drift off into the corner, that's going to be open. They haven't been doing that all night. They've been staying on the wing, and there's no passing angle. At that time, he just drifted to the corner a little bit on the drive from the top of the key, and he, he had a really good look, and, and it was a really good look at the basket. 57-43, and Liberty Benton, you know, the guy who mentioned, the lead was 32. It's down to 14. If you're over... You're over on Liberty Benton side, you're Doug Whiteman, and you've seen half of your lead evaporate. What are you talking about in this timeout with 2.38 left in the game? Well, I, I, well, I think what happened is, you know, part of another part of pressing when you press, and sometimes not necessarily to get the steals, but you want to speed the other team up. So maybe they've come down and maybe take some, took some quick shots that maybe Coach Whiteman probably wouldn't have liked, maybe just to use a little more time uh, offensively. I would get back in that, what he called Florida, because you've got such floor spacing where, you know, they're going to be in the pass lanes trying to make a steal, so the drive baseline's going to be open. It'll be Liberty Benton basketball. They're going to send someone deep. That always... Can we have a timeout? It's Seth Elkert who goes deep. He doesn't get the basketball, at least not at this point in time. And the foul... And they're going to get Brady Brooks, it looks like. Now, uh, his third. That's the fourth on the team. So, Liberty Benton will shoot free throws from here on out. Eagles have one more foul to give. That's the last place you want to stop with the basketball. Able to pass it off. High energy defense still here for Allen East. And that one saved. Nice athletic play by the Eagles. There to keep it alive is Conaway, and he has had a really nice game. A foul here on the floor, and I think they got that on Carson Klum, so that's going to be it for Carson Klum. So he'll foul out with 23 points tonight. Yeah, he, he's done a nice job in this second half, Carson has, of getting to the basket and then getting to the free throw line. Yeah, he has. And it was a great drive and kick the series before that where 
you know, he knew he had kind of had a wide open guy in the corner and it was a really good look at the basket. One of the one of the few that they've got. Yeah. Conaway at the line, shooting two, hits the first. Lee's free throw goes in. 24 points tonight, 25 points for Carson Conaway. And he has really paced this Liberty Benton attack. Of course, also Jake Gherkin having a terrific contest. He has 16 points. Conaway with 26. 42 of their 59 points has come from those two players tonight. Jones is probably going to maybe, thought maybe drive to the basket, but. Shot no good. And with. Plum on the bench, the uh, the comeback attempt might have been halted right there. And that one in for Lincoln Holler. Holler with eight points, and it's 61-43. Just spread the floor, you know. They, they know Alan East is really gonna be in the passing lane, so you get a wide open kind of slip screen there. Jones floats that one in. We're gonna trap right in that corner. They're working it inside and a travel. Talk about Liberty Benton's schedule here moving forward. Allen East, after this matchup against Liberty Benton, they will uh, be back here next Friday against Crestview. That'll be a tough matchup in the uh, Northwest Conference for them. And then uh, on the road, taking on Lipsick and then Harden Northern. They'll have right back here in the Corral next Saturday. Another bucket and yeah, pretty much did a pretty good job of going north and south and you know going up the floor and not going east and west and it's got a good basket out of it. Brooks pull up from 16 and I think he was hit on the hand going up so he will head to the line. Holler assess the foul. It's his second. He's got a pretty good first step, too, off the bounce. First lead free throw is good. Second lead free throw is good. And if you're Liberty Benton, you, know, you have to feel pretty good about coming in here on the road. It's going to be a travel call. And getting a win over an Al East team that was, you know, Cooking pretty good, at least in the last this last week. Yeah. Yeah, they came in, and obviously that first half it was all Liberty Benton. I'd like to see when Liberty Benton's entering the ball in that corner on that press. I'd I'd like to see Alan East go get it right away. Young with the basketball, 32 seconds, and that one poked away. Conaway gives it up and puts it in for. Jake Gherkin, and that could be the final stamp on this one. Now Brooks is going to put one in. Nope. Round the rim and out. Brooks with 11 points tonight. Deacon Jones with 11 points tonight. And they are just going to dribble this one out, and that will do it tonight as Liberty Benton gets the big win on the road. 65 to 47, they take care of the Allen East Mustangs tonight. So Liberty Benton dominates this one from coast to coast. A, a terrific game put together by the Eagles top to bottom. Yeah, and they, they came out and obviously took that large lead right away in the first half. I was really impressed with Allen East uh, in the second half, not going away. Um, finally hit some shots that were around the basket and it, you know they kept playing hard. Allen East able to cut it down to what would end up being eventually a 18 point deficit. It had been 32, so Allen East cuts that one down. A nice job by then. That will wrap up our coverage of this one tonight. The final from the Corral here in Allen East, 65 to 47. Liberty Benton getting the win 
uh, over Allen East. Want to thank Abby Beck and Megan Sherrick for helping us out putting this one together tonight. That is going to do it. One more time, 65-47. The Eagles come away with the win for Rich Benzman and our entire WOSN staff. I'm Patrick Kamler saying so long, everybody, from Allen East.